Friendly greetings, this is Torley Linden with an overview of community.secondlife.com. Our team has been working intensely on this new community platform to improve help and communication for you. So what exactly is this all about and what's different? First, we've unified several information resources that were kind of fractured in the past. Right at the top, we have clear tabs for each area, answers, forums, blogs, and knowledge base. Let's zoom in and enhance <laughs> a bit. So first up, answers. Answers is all about asking fellow residents for help, real people like you. How this works may feel familiar if you've used other question and answer sites. Simply start by typing a question or just keywords like Linden Dollars. It live searches for possible matches, so you don't have to refresh the page. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> you can also expand accepted answers. Again, don't have to refresh the page. If you want a power search, click more results. Advanced options are right here on the left. A search box can also be conveniently and consistently accessed when you're posting a question and answers or from the three other tabs. You can specify if you want to search just that section or across the whole community site. The tech term is federated search. As before, this auto completes. And if you don't find an answer, click post question. From here, choose a Q&A topic. This one could be land and type out a fuller explanation. You can also use the toolbar for formatting. And when you're done, click post. After posting, it appears as an open question. Click here to go to your post to see it. There's a new ranking system based on your positive participation. The idea behind this is you can easily see if someone's really knowledgeable, which helps build trust. It also builds respect and makes you feel good vibes if you become a recognized expert on a given topic or topics. That means your useful answers can easier surface to the top. Useful answers can be nominated by residents, approved by Linden Labs documentation team, and included in the knowledge base. This makes it easier to find in the future, which saves everyone's time. Next up, let's click on to the forums. So at first you'll see familiar and new forums in a fresh skin. What's the difference between answers and the forums? Answers is focused on newer residents who may feel overwhelmed and want an easy path to help. Also, while answers is, as its name indicates all about questions and answers, the forums include open-ended back and forth discussion where one definitive answer isn't necessarily expected. So if you're new to Second Life, you can start in answers and as you participate more and get comfortable, explore the forums and dig deeper. While we are here, what happened to the old forums, all that wealth of conversation and culture? Just head to the forum archive. It's read only, so you can't change it, but you can still dig for gems from the past. Blogs! Extreme! <laughs> Stay up to date with news straight from the Lindens. A big change is sections are clearly divided, making it easier to find what's interesting to you. We make it easy to share stuff with your friends. If you see an article you want to pass along in the blogs or in the knowledge base, just look for the share icon and choose a service. Many popular ones are supported, including traditional email. And yep, there's going to be more tips and tricks from yours truly coming up. Expect to see me work these into the new knowledge base. It's all connected. Speaking of, now for some tips and tricks on what's new and or improved. Like the previous forums, you can customize your profile. Now it's done by clicking My Settings at the top of the page. Some of these tabs can be customized quite extensively, and a lot of the look and feel is right here under Preferences. For example, if you want relative time like was used on the previous forum, that's under the Display tab. It's right here. One of the most popular things from the old system was customizing your avatar picture, which is totally different and set independently of your Second Life in-viewer web profile. To do this with a picture from your hard drive, once you're logged in, click your name up here to get to your profile. 
Scroll down a bit and on the right hand side, underneath where it says images for you, click upload an image. Then click browse to open a standard file selector. Now select an image in a web compatible format like JPEG or PNG. And then let's open that up, give it a moment, hit previews and let's save. Now the image is in your personal image gallery. All right, let's go back to my settings and now avatars and click from uploaded images. There it is. Click and you're done. Whenever you make a post, there's your avatar. There's so much that happens in Second Life each day. In my settings, I recommend enabling subscriptions and bookmarks if you want to automatically stay on top of discussions. There's a whole truckload of options here, most self-explanatory, but they allow for a lot of control over how you receive the news you want to get. Or to be more selective, if you want to keep watch on a specific answers or form thread, click options here and you can bookmark or subscribe. Last but not least for now, as shown briefly earlier, private messages are back. This little envelope icon. This is a different system from in-world instant messages. If this becomes information overload and you want to opt out, go to my settings, preferences tab, and under private messenger, you can uncheck, turn on private messages and save. Or if you want to selectively ignore someone, just click their name to the left of a message and in their profile page, you can go ahead and click ignore. Alas, this only works for their private messages and not forum and answers posts. If you need more help, community help is always just a click away. Stay tuned for more awesome tips and tricks on community.secondlife.com from me, Torley Linden, and enjoy!